unfortunately did not see the stage. Alright, so starting on PS2, fine stage to start, you know, ask just about anyone. Yeah, getting right into it, Charlie, opening up with a big combo, quick 50%. Nico going into speed. I feel that was interesting. I was expecting him to go into shield, but then again, he probably knows why he should have gone into speed better than I would. The thing is, is like when you go into shield, your opponent just runs away, especially as Wolf coming up the laser, right? And mm -hmm. then so you're forced to cancel shield, and then you don't have access to shield, yeah. should your opponent open you up again. Exactly, and that's probably his uh, Nico's thought process too. Whoa, oh, I love that. Oh, that was clean, but the quick switch to shield saving Nico from taking too much knockback there. Able to get a little bit of a punish, but Charlie's still taking stage. Yeah, Charlie definitely talking about his that foot still out of shield up B. He's been practicing that. He's trying to do it again. Man, he's just showing up. Again, Charlie, that, that lab monster. He's finding what's optimal. He's finding what's cool. Oh. That F tilt is not working. Why not? Yeah, I mean speaking of this is wolf. <laughs> yeah. That is just wolf. Oh, what a call out! Smash. No! That sucks for Nico. He was really ready to get uh, ledge trap started, potentially get a kill with the smash. But Charlie, a step ahead, knew that he wanted to switch into smash. Hits him while he's in the dial. Mm -hmm. That was such a clean call off from Charlie. He's, oh, this Charlie's playing out of his mind right now. Oh, no. Charlie, chill, dog. <laughs> no, man. that's crazy. Charlie, it feels like Charlie is playing with so much momentum right now. Nico can quell that if he can just get this one hit with Smash, but Charlie just not letting him get a single opening that's meaningful. Mm -hmm. I know the last time they played oh. at, at a DCG, I know Charlie did end up taking it over Nico. So again, maybe Charlie just kind of has that download. Hey, so far, it, it, it like seems it. like it. He's kind of telling. He's, he's showing Nico where he's going to be at. Yeah, he's moving and grooving. He didn't even get the footstool that time. He just upbeat. Oh, I, I like the parry. Yeah, Not even going to go style. for anything. I just for style. Yeah, I think he realized he couldn't get much. Oh, now Nico finally getting something. A couple of nares. The speed art doing him wonders getting these tech chases. Nico kind of letting Charlie yeah. off the ledge for free, not really characteristic. All things considered, Nico kind of crawling his way back into this one, ready for the high wolf flash this time. Charlie tried to reuse that mix up a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, get away from me. Yeah, now, Nico, he's kind of forced to. Well, yeah, that's what he did. It doesn't matter. Got that uh, back there. Yeah, Charlie. Doing he was running commanding the show. game one. Yeah, he was running the show the whole time. But like you said, Nico not too far behind, a two stock at a high percent. Nico was slowly crawling his way back, but just. That deficit that he had in the beginning was just a little too much. And it's Shulk versus Wolf, so you get Wolf off stage once. He doesn't have a ton of recovery mix-ups. Like, he, his recovery as a concept is good. He can get back from most parts of the stage, right? Mm -hmm. But he just doesn't have a ton of mix-ups. Yeah. Right? You know, he's got the side B, the up B. That's kind of the two mix-ups. He can go high or low. Yeah. Yeah. High or low, do the up B, maybe hold down to try to cheese him out a little bit. But like you said, very limited. All you have to do is guess right once. Right, yeah, going into shield to kind of avoid some of that early damage that Charlie can put out, but right now, yeah, like you said, yeah, like you said, doesn't have the shield, so if Charlie gets this one hit, it's gonna be a lot of damage, but Nico doing a good job of kind of keeping Charlie away so that doesn't happen. Yeah, as soon as he doesn't have shield, right, he just runs over to the other side of the stage. Yeah. He's not willing to interact. Why not? Why would you interact? You have, you have this broken tool to get you out of combos. Why not just abuse that? Yeah, so I really do like Nico's play. When he doesn't have shield, he's just making it so he doesn't need it as much, and again, that oh shield are doing... Oh my oh. god. Whoops, I don't know if that was the angle. I don't know if that's the angle he wanted. It's that option just seems to not be good against Shulk if he has shield up. So, yeah, but but that there's the F-tilt, man. Yep, F-tilt off the ledge. Like you said, if you're gonna get that footstool out of shield, you gotta make sure that shield is down. So I don't know how worth it would be to go uh, to do that against Shulk. Definitely a good mix up when shield's not available, but right there just not paying off for Charlie. Good pay for that with the game. I mean, he hasn't really been hit too much. He's only taken about 70% altogether. Mm -hmm. and here's the thing. Okay, so Nico had shield there, and Charlie was willing to continue to pressure in the corner, right? Which I, I kind of think that backing off a little bit, just to give him that little bit of space so that, you know, he turns off shield, maybe then you come back in for a laser, whatever you got to do. Charlie just happy to continue the pressure, Light and air. man, he is just going crazy. Oh! Well, Enough. Yeah, get, get, some, yeah. get some damage. Charlie right. definitely think he was going to snap ledge there. Uh-oh. 
Nico, it seems like he's kind of fishing a little bit. You know, he, mm -hmm. he, he knows what his kill option is, and he's throwing it out a lot. And Charlie is just avoiding it so well. There we go, Charlie. Doing beautiful, recovering to the stage. Nico, yeah, just kind of fishing a little bit. It feels like we're not seeing as many of the arch come out as we as he usually throws out. Oh, I thought he was going to dare. So did I. I thought it was, yeah, definitely. Dare would have been the, the stylish option. I feel like Charlie wants to get one of these fair wolf flashes, but he knows as soon as he hits fair, the shield is going to come out, so he's just kind of, yeah. just chip the damage in. Now Nico got Charlie at the ledge. And Charlie just fighting out of the corner Charlie, so well right now. Charlie does not care. He's not respecting the pressure that Nico's putting on. Well, he is respecting it, and he's just choosing his options just so beautifully. Oh, the falling Reversal. there got a little greedy. Yeah. Got a little bit greedy. He was, ready to, for that. Like, he yeah. was ready to end the game. Yeah. Again, this is Shulk Wolf. One hit off stage could be it. Mm -hmm. Nico definitely just needs that one opening to bring this back. Charlie gonna try to let that not happen. Oh, oh really bad get up attack. Charlie probably not ready for that one. It's so interesting that Charlie's going to just come up there. He did that against Larry as well. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, fair gonna kill. He died to fair. Yeah, I definitely thought he was gonna go for it up air, but that fair. Does the job too. Now Charlie up to oh he he kind of has Nico's number right now. Yeah, Nico seems to be panicking quite a bit. You know, mm -hmm. just kind of he's in his own brain. I, I I think that at the current moment Nico is not playing anywhere near his confidence. Yeah, I, I feel I feel like we're seeing him like kind of second guess himself a lot. Like you're saying, maybe not in his own brain and. Yeah, it, it just seems off, but no, I'm not going to... No, no discredit to Charlie. He's playing amazing. Oh, absolutely. And, and no discredit to Nico either. He can definitely still bring this back, and he's definitely still the player who can do it. And I think one of the other important parts is that Charlie is just always taking this early game lead, and he's yeah. forced Nico to play from behind, and just, that can be so difficult sometimes. Yeah, and Nico really has to take the momentum here if he wants to make this. Because if you don't get, take momentum early on in this game, this is the game three where you're back against the wall. You really need to make that thing that happen right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, this could be it, though. Charlie able to jump out. There okay, here no we go. Jump, no double jump. Charlie, or Nico going off that fair. He was so close to getting it. If he had it, Charlie would have been dead. Charlie probably thanking the stars for that one. Yeah, great DI from him as well. Helped straight right. Mm -hmm. Now Charlie on the ledge. Nico continuing to keep the ledge trap going. Yep, goes that fair, does hit below the ledge. I'm surprised we're not seeing uh, Nico throw out a lot of these fairs just to try to two-frame Charlie. First hit of the down until... Ooh, oh, that. Up. That definitely would have been it. He was still in smash art. There's a new switch to shield. Immediate cancel, I like that. Oh, Charlie willing to tech chase though. Just didn't react in time. All right now Nico's finally putting on that ledge trapping. He's known for gets that down to him. What the heck? I've never seen that go in my life. <laughs> All right, Smash Art will do anything for you. That's true. Now Charlie with the advantage. Yep. Charlie probably was thinking about going down, but he knows the last time yeah. that happened, Nico did do that reversal up B, which is such a great option. That recovery was sick. He went like super deep under the stage and just the raw wolf flash. Go tech. Tech. Yes. Oh, I love that he held down. Shield switch, I like that. A little bit late on the reaction. Yeah, the shield is definitely gonna do him for good. <laughs> yeah, and it just forces Charlie to reset neutral, but even then, Charlie able to win the next neutral. Yeah, as soon as that shield art left. What's oh, going on? Oh, no, dude. That, that was definitely an arch. That was not that intended. That was an arch. Absolutely. Now again, here we see Nico playing from behind. But he's done such a great job of keeping the momentum up to this point. Yeah. If he doesn't let that face in, then this is super good. Yeah, that was definitely. This is definitely a great game oh. for him. That back air really cost the wolf flash. And now he's evened it up. Here we go. Like you said, not letting it uh, affect him. Slowly uh, clawing his way back into this. Speaking of claws, though, Charlie putting in the work. Uh, here we go, Nico using a lot of arts to kind of secure his situation. Yeah, but now the shield is gone. He's at 102. There's a lot of things that'll kill for Charlie. But now he's fishing a little bit with the side. He just wants the set to be over. It's it definitely seemed like a great, a good call out because Nico was jumping, but he was expecting it, so that was a problem there. Nico, yeah, he, it's looking like he's he's got this. He's like back in the mentality. Yeah, but the thing is, is that Charlie just needs that one hit right now. Mm -hmm. One hit could do it for Charlie. But same thing for Nico. One hit could do it for him. Anyone's game. Trade. 
the speed allows Shulk to get there in position and make sure that he can let Trap Wolf in time. And there's the F tilt that's going to do. No. no, not yet. Tra oh, I, I like that he tried to hit him with the uh, Wolf Flash. Nico, great recovery. And the yeah, the, the babysit from Nico was perfect there, but Charlie just was willing to take his time. No lazy recoveries on his own. Mm -hmm. That dash attack not going to get the very strong hit. Yeah, going off of that Nair, but not just going all the way down. This could be anyone's game. Wow, oh. the roll in. Charlie reacted, had that one scouted. That was, was sick. He was ready. He was he, waiting. He did the F tilt down to cover maybe the early neutral get up for the jump. And then as soon as he rolled, he just reacted to it.